Hey, what is up people? Skywalker Hendricks here, back with another video for you guys today. And today I am looking at the Balin Skull or Balin Small figure uh, from the Black Series. Uh, this is uh, another, I've been saying this past couple of reviews, kind of a controversial figure. Uh, and, you know... While I feel like we're in the best times to be collecting, uh, there also are some just very blatant, weird decisions slash mistakes by Hasbro recently, um, but I'll get into that later in the review. Taking a quick look at the package, he does, which this, will uh, keep this in mind for later on when I talk about it, but it doesn't really look like the actor there uh, on the box art. And, uh, I also have Shin in hand, hers does not either, um, but it looks cool nonetheless. Uh, nice Ahsoka packaging here, we do have a little, uh, bio just of the show, you know, these were, uh, rushed in my opinion, so just kind of like the couple first Kenobi figures, but, uh, let's get this guy out of the package. All right, and here is Balin out of the package, and for his one and only accessory, we do have this ginormous lightsaber. The hilt is very nice. I did notice it is like a super, like, rubbery um, type of plastic, but uh, it does seem to kind of seem like it wants to stay straight, but I would definitely be careful with that. And then we do have a super long blade here, and... Just standing this next to him, I mean, it comes up basically to his shoulders. Um, and with kind of, again, the controversy of this figure, him being kind of on the small side, I think the lightsaber does not help at all. <laughs> and uh, they did themselves no favors with that one. And I don't know, this is just a really disappointing one, whereas if this was kind of more of a background, let's say it was an OT alien, uh, you know, if it was kind of on the smaller side, I don't think anyone would really complain. But Ray Stevenson absolutely um, just was polarizing to the fan base immediately when we saw him on screen. And for us collectors, that meant we wanted a figure of him immediately. And uh, when a figure like this comes out and it looks so good, it looks so good, but it's just a little small. Um, and honestly, it's weird because we haven't really seen this in the Black Series uh, a whole lot. Uh, the, the only example I can really think of is... Uh, R2 or maybe a Leia figure uh, in the past that was either too big or too small I can't I maybe one or two instances but not on this scale which is like I honestly think the whoever manufactured this figure and did like the molds and everything like got the scaling off by like just a little bit and I don't know, like, it's just weird because it's only Balin and Shin and they're just the exact same size. Like, it, it's just very odd. But I'm gonna try to just put that out of my mind for a few minutes here while we take a closer look at this figure because he does still absolutely look amazing. And I do think the face sculpt while not being perfect i think it's good and it gets the job done and his outfit is just killer in my opinion uh, i'm just really liking uh just everything going on here and the nice splits here at the waist uh allowing for some more articulation is going to be nice and yeah he's just he does look good in my opinion so going over articulation here he can look up about that far can look down about that far and he does have some really decent tilt. Just like any newer Black Series figure, he's pretty much going to have uh, amazing articulation. We have really nice butterfly joints in there. The O-ring style shoulder pad. Uh, his elbow does bend a little past 90 there. And we do have swivel at the elbow as well. His 
left or right uh, wrist is, let's see, is this a ball peg? It might be the new ball peg system. Let me see. Yep. All right. Figure that out. So, yeah, that's very interesting. Uh, very interesting, actually. So, really, just like an SH Figure Arts, it gets any movement possible, um, which, I mean, for a character like this, amazing. But also just a little more disappointing that he's just small. Um, I don't know. I think there's going to be ways to get around that, um, as we'll get into. But uh, getting into the legs, he does kick out about that far and back about that far. He does have a single jointed knee that does get up about 90, and there is a swivel there as well. And he uh, also does not have any uh, thigh rotation, but... As you can see, it does rotate quite a bit, and then you do get that swivel down there. So, in my opinion, it does not hinder the articulation at all. I'm standing on it. I'm dying on that hill. Um, so, yeah, this guy, articulation-wise, amazing. Like, engineering-wise, fan-freaking-tastic. If he was, like... And again, this was what I said with in my uh, pre Vizsla review, which you should go watch that if you haven't. Um, if this guy was just a little bit bigger, he would probably be contender for figure of the year. And I said that about pre Vizsla. If he was on a different body, a newer body, he'd be figure of the year. So, I don't know. It's just very disappointing. But let's get into some comparisons now. All right, and I'm just going to start off with it. I'm going to rip the Band-Aid off. Here he is with Ahsoka. And, uh, yeah, this is where it's just a little disappointing as this is kind of the character you want to pose him with besides Shin, which we will get into in Shin's review, which you should subscribe if you haven't, so you can watch that when that comes out because that will be out the next day after this. Um... But yeah, this is just, I mean, they're pretty much neck and neck the same height. So, there's ways you can get around it. I don't know, like if you have kind of a diorama base or something, you can have him maybe standing up high or something, maybe having a little bit of height difference in the shelf display. That might add a little bit to the display to make him just look a little more imposing but I don't know he's a great figure and like I don't think of Rosario Dawson Ahsoka as like being tiny so in my eyes it doesn't really it's not like too bad but the fact that his head is like kind of smaller than hers like he it's not just that he's like short it's that his entire figure was, like, molded in a different scale than what the rest of the Black Series is molded in, or something like that. Like, that's just a rough, rough theory, but it, it's got to be something like that because it's like his entire body is, is just a tad smaller, but yeah. All right, and here he is with Merrick, and I was getting some comments on my Merrick review that he was like too big but I actually don't think that I think like he's the correct height and bigness I guess it's just that Balin is I think people were trying to like justify it in their minds why Balin like they're like trying to justify that Balin's the correct height and that Merrick's just too big and like Shin's just too big but I think Shin and Balin were just made to be the same exact size. Like, they just took six inches and just said, that's how big the figure is. Whereas, it's not scaled to six inches, if you know what I mean, I guess. I don't know, like, it's confusing, and I don't even know how that would happen to just these two figures. But again, it goes into that rushed... We need these out when the when the show's coming out, which I'm all for it. 
if they can be quality figures. So there needs to be more communication because I don't think they knew who the actors were when they made these figures. I think they had costumes and they made figures based on like a rough um, like idea, I guess, of, I don't know, I don't know. Something got mixed up in the translation of the entertainment. So at the end of the day, I just, I think it's a bit disappointing, but I do think he is worth a pickup. I don't know. I don't know. Like, it, it's really, it comes down to, to what you want in your collection. And if the, it's too big of a, a thing to deal with, I guess. Then, then don't pick it up, and you know Hasbro will get the message if if this guy does not sell, because I mean we all want we all wanted this character, and it's just a shame when he do, the the figure does not live up to the character in the show. Um, I think that's what it comes down to, and I think that's what makes collecting fun is when you get a figure that is just as fun as the character that you're watching on the on the TV. So um I am glad to have this guy in my collection. I think Ray Stevenson was amazing in the Ahsoka show and I just want representation of that on my shelf. So this guy was a must for my collection and really I just loved the Ahsoka show in general, so I'm just I'm having a blast. A freaking blast, guys, building this Ahsoka shelf. It's so fun. And uh and just all the all the shelves of the different shows have just been have been really fun for me in collecting. Um Mando kind of brought it all back for me, uh, and kind of started my collecting, so it's just fun to make new shelves for these shows. Um so yeah, I'm I'm going on and on. We're at like 12 minutes, boys. So if you're still here, you're a G. I love you. Uh, go enter in my giveaway because you're special. And uh, it's in like one of my Vader reviews. Go down on my channel. Just skip to whatever part I talk about and, and find out how to enter. Um, so yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Sorry, I'm sleepy. It's been a long week. I've worked 60 hours this week, so it's been long. Um, thank you all for watching. May the Force be with you. Ayy.